everyone, my name is Emily. I'm going to show you how to use the new tutoring site for Math 102 online. So I'm here on the CSUN homepage, csun.edu. I go to My Northridge Portal and then I click on Moodle right here beneath Gmail. Uh, your logon for Moodle is the same logon as you would use for the Northridge Portal and the same password. So click Login. And here we are. So I have the math tutoring site right here, but you probably won't. So you should go down here to search courses, and you can type in online tutoring or Math 102. Either one will work. And there it is. Another way to get to the site, um, your teacher probably or hopefully provided you with a URL, either in your syllabus or as an email. And you can put that in here in the search bar. Uh, sorry, in the address bar. And this ID takes you straight into the course. There you go. So, uh, let's see. The hours are tutors are live seven to ten Sunday through thir uh, Sunday through Wednesday. Uh, so four days a week, and they can answer your questions anytime. There's two ways to get help. The best way is using the forums. So let's look at the forums. Here's this week's forum. Uh, there's one question already, but let's add a new discussion topic. So this is what you would do if you had a question. Let's say you're doing homework and you're having a problem with something. So type something descriptive as a subject. Maybe help problem to chapter uh, whatever. And then click in here and try and describe the problem as best as you can. Um, I'm having a hard time with this problem. I don't know where to start. So even if that's the best that you can do, just just say something about what you're having a hard time with. Don't just, you know, don't just ask for help. And then go down here and click post to forum. Someone just beeped me, sorry. So uh right, so now a tutor will come in here. It'll take 10 to 15 minutes to answer your question. Um could be more in a busy day, could be less. And your tu the tutor will reply, you know, something like, try this, this, and that. Does that help? Continue. And then you, in turn, can reply to that, and you can just have a conversation as you normally would on a bulletin board. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's delete this really quickly. Okay. So, um... That's one of the best ways to get help, mainly because even if you're not, even if you don't feel like asking a question, you can look at some of the questions that other people have asked, and they be maybe and they may be relevant to you. So here's one about average rate of change in secant lines that someone already posted, and that already has ten replies. So if I'm having a hard time with that, I might want to look at it. Um, here's a problem. Uh, the person says I don't get the question, and here are a whole bunch of suggestions from all different tutors. This one's from Lena. Uh, here's some from David and from Joanna, and they all have different suggestions about what to do, um, and hopefully that'll help you. So let's go back and see how to use chat now. Okay, so here's the chat room for this week, right under the forum. There's actually a couple chat, a couple users in here right now. Those are all tutors. So we can enter the chat now. And then here's the, it's, it's a little slow. There you go. And if you someone doesn't answer right away, you can actually beep one of the tutors like this. And on their end they'll get a sound and they will know that you that you are there and that you need help. So that's pretty much it. That's a really nice way to Oh, and Timothy says hello. That's a really nice way to get help. Um obviously sometimes it's just nice to talk to a person if you're not sure how to ask the question or if you just have something really quick. Um, it's really convenient. Oh goodness, someone's beeping me. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I really hope you guys try it out. I know that a lot of you probably have really inconvenient schedules and you can't make it to the live tutoring lab, so this is really convenient. Um, like I said, you don't have to post between 7 and 10. You can post any time and someone will answer your question eventually um, the next day that someone logs on live and possibly even before that. 
Um, and the other great thing about this is that it's all student tutors, so you should never be embarrassed to ask anything. They all know exactly what you're going through, and they're here to help. Um, I hope you guys try it out. Bye.